What's poppin' fam? Today we're talking about the best fitness games that are in VR, but not just any VR. We're doing the Quest platform, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Thank y'all so much for an ever-growing community on TikTok, and thank you so much for helping us out, hitting us up with a thumbs up and a subscribe. If you like content like this, stay involved with your board. We got details everywhere in those links description below, and we got tons of fun stuff coming around, so stay up with it. Let's go ahead, and if you're a fan of VR, come on over and join us in this channel. Now let's get it. Best Oculus Quest 2 fitness exercise and workout games. So let's see what we got up first. And we got up first is going to be Fit XR. Originally launched as Box XR because it was a boxing aspect. Uh, it got revamped and relaunched with a new name and overhauled uh, features earlier this year. Now this game can have some insight, some massive opinions because there is a lot of charging essence. It's basically like not supposed to be your traditional gym, but it kind of treats it like a gym membership. So... Despite being an overall uh, positive upgrade, the transition of FitXR wasn't without its faults. Some features have been changed and are completely missing. But if you're new to the platform, you're unlikely to notice. Uh, FitXR is available for $29.99 on the Oculus Store. Now, they do have some situations where it goes like there's just a lot of pay things going on. And so um, it, it'll be up to your flavor if you think you're going to like FitXR. Now, me and FitXR are going to be doing something very soon because I'm a huge fitness person. I love it so much. And so if you want to stay updated on that and you haven't bought uh, FitXR yet, just go ahead and hit me up. We'll, we'll do some things. I'll try to help you out. Get through it real quick. Just feel free to comment. The thrill of the fight. Now, this one's awesome. A uh, number of boxing games available on the quest. Thrill of the fight aims to be the most true to life in terms of boxing mechanics. A few rounds in the ring, you'll be sweating big time. We definitely prefer this one over Creed VR on Quest 100%. I love how this article also talks about. Now, it's not it's not downplaying what Creed is, but Thrill of the Fight is a lot more of a step back graphics-wise, but man, just the, just the intention of what it's supposed to be in terms of just trying to like shadow box, especially people that want to learn how to do shadow boxing and stuff and learn how to do some of the drills. Uh, this is incredible for $10. $10 meaning because the essence of the game it has a lot of replayability, but it's not really the best, I guess, aesthetic looking game. But man, you can have a lot of fun on this. Supernatural, let's not be around the saber. Uh, like I see the punchline there. Supernatural is a fitness focused beat saber clone through and through. Notes fly at you in times of music. However, the key difference with Supernatural is that you don't pick your songs like beat saber. Every 24 hours is a new workout and a playlist and a routine. The aim is to get you sweating with big arm swings and squats. The better you perform, the harder the routine will get thanks to Supernatural. So new Supernatural is very much very popular. I know Oculus just had a huge update with them also. So um, if you're a fan of Beat Saber, you'll definitely be a fan of Supernatural. But um, it, it'll be up to you. Oh, here it is right here. So I'm sorry. The Fit XR was Box VR. And they used to have that month subscription. I was thinking of Supernatural. That's on me. My bad. So basically, um, instead of a one-off purchase, Supernatural is a $20 a month subscription. So that's what I'm talking about when it comes down to uh, this game right here. I believe Fit XR is also doing some monthly stuff. Y'all have to double check. Um, it's been a while since they've been updating that, but I know for sure it's Supernatural, not Fit XR. But either way, uh, Fit XR is pretty uh, upfront, pretty expensive. They do have a, a free trial though, Fit XR. I do know that. And here they have the 20 month subscription, so that's how it rolls out. Um, Hollow Point for those looking, uh, Hollow Point's next on this fitness one. I've never played for Hollow Point personally, but let's check it out. For those looking for something other than rhythm slashing or boxing, Hollow Point might be a good option at its core. Hollow Point is an archery wave shooter. Uh, that is simplistic in its game uh, structure, unforgiving in its intensity. You'll be playing for high scores with little sense of progression of story. Uh, but what it lacks there, it makes up for movement intensity. You'll be doing immediate and frequent spins. So, Hollow Point, never tried it out before. Um, definitely, if y'all try to make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know uh, your essences. Dance Central, we have. Now, we're not a huge fan of this in the VR format. Now, in, in back in the Xbox aspect, it's, it's really dope. Um... On the Wii, it's really dope, but I, I just I wasn't I'm not a fan of it in VR. I feel like it's just not as great. So dance like nobody's watching, get down and boogie, staying active in Dance Central. Uh, so Dance Central obviously has the iconic tracks in there and has it is the is the closest that we will get to like a Wii format, which is weird because I think that VR should be able to transfer like Just Dance and Dance Central. That might be a, a legal thing or just a copyright issues. 
But I believe they should be able to really transition those real easily. Dance Central, probably not, because it's more like hands-free hand tracking. And you're just dancing in front of the Xbox Connect version of Dance Central. But the Wii version of Just Dance and Dance Central, like, you literally have your Wii controllers in your hand. And Oculus, or at least Quest 2, I mean, just Quest in general. I will say Quest 2, though. Let's speak on behalf of Quest 2. Quest 2 has your, your controllers in general. And I don't think that you'd be able to really implement into a VR format. So, But Dance Central just was not that great it also has very low reviews for some reason but it is available it says for thirty dollars if you want to check that out also this right here is a sleeper for free this is for free vr workout vr workout offers one i think it's because of the name possibly it could be the name it offers one of the most intensive oculus quest workout experiences hands down but when it comes to some important disclaimers first and foremost this isn't an official oculus game so now they're letting us know this is an app lab games so the fact that it's an app lab games makes it a better essential to be able to do that so you'll need to side load it using side quest though it's available on everything but i wouldn't say side quest now it's app lab games it's a little bit of an older article and with our input so just just go to App Lab Games, you go on your phone or your headset, and you're able to get this game very easy. VR workout is very, very underrated. Uh, it uses Quest controller free hand tracking, no controllers. It's free to instruct you to do all types of traditional workout exercises like push ups, crunches, and more. And uh, it, it's just, uh, it, it's great and it's free. This is the only free one I feel that is freaking amazing and it really over delivers on what it actually offers to everybody. Of course, the iconic B Saber. I sweat so. So much in Beat Saber, and that's because when we create content, we dance around. I do dance saber a lot, and I like to just dance and move around. Some people just like to sit still and just kind of just do stuff. Me with Beat Saber, I dance around a lot. I spin. I try to do fun stuff to create content for our viewers. So how can we not include VR's poster child on the list? I love how they said that. This one should be pretty self-explanatory. A couple of levels on Expert, Expert Plus, and Beat Saber will get your heart rate pumping. $30, best $30 ever. This is the VR poster child. The me the main reason why people even get VR up until this day, any VR, but it's solely Quest 2 is Beat Saber. Just no question. It looks cool. It feels cool. It feels cool. It runs smooth. It just does everything. You'll get sweaty. You can get fun content. Mixed reality content has gotten a lot easier with it. No green screens are needed these days. You can do it on your phone. Everything Beat Saber is just 100% yes. So whatever they do charge, which is $30, is 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 just, it, well worth it beyond it synth riders is technically the only competition that's coming close to beat saber right now so synth riders yes another vr rhythm uh this game has implemented a, var a variety of fitness focused features such as the calorie counter and a fitness update that arrived earlier this year and included vr workout sessions live guided by a trainer so that's pretty cool synth riders has more of a music playlist i'll say to start off with instead of like beat saber where you have to buy everything but it, overall, those are back-to-back -back games. If you love Synth Riders, you possibly don't like Beat Saber as much. And if you really love Beat Saber, you technically would choose that over Synth Riders. Some people just love both the same, but either are they're neck-to-neck. -neck. It depends on your personal um, preferences when you play these games, but they're both great. O-Shape. Uh, this reminds me of just like just a little the game shows and stuff. It's very fun. You just you just literally fill in the shapes and you throw your body around the music, fitting and moving yourself into all different shapes. And so it reminds me of just those little uh, mini game shows that they used to have. Uh, I forgot the name of it though. But O Shape is available for twenty dollars. You just fit into each shape, just like the picture showing us. Next. Pistol Whip, woo, my favorite. Pistol Whip might seem like a strange entry for the VR exercise, but man, Pistol Whip is incredible. When I jumped into Pistol Whip, hands down, the music, uh, ducking and rolling around and shooting and getting the enemies going, like, Pistol Whip is incredible with everything, hands down. If you have not tried out Pistol Whip, the rhythm game, it looks, uh, kind of gives you that super hot polygon appeal. It has a lot of slow motion stuff. It has a lot of fun stuff. And it's just so much integration that you don't feel like you're just playing some type of FPS game. There's just a lot of stuff going. Um... Oculus Move isn't a VR workout. Oh, Oculus Move is next. It's not a VR workout app, but rather a feature that will let you track your progress, workouts, and stuff. So although it's titled Oculus Move, you're not really doing anything but keeping track of everything. I really love that. Uh, essential. And it kind of just like how's the, how the basic is when you log into your headset. You can just see your stuff at the top or the bottom, depending on where you put it. That's pretty dope, too. Until You Fall... Not designed as a fitness ad. So this right here is kind of just the dark horse of everything, which is pretty cool because it kind of looks like a darkened game until you fall. Um, at its most intense, the game should offer you something comparable to a light upper body workout. Its roguelike mechanics means it's more game-y than other entries on this list. If you're looking for something fun to play, it also gives you a bit of a workout on the way until you fall might be the best. Now, let's talk about this. My favorite, of course, is going to be Beast Saber 1. Pistol Whip is probably 2. I'll say... uh. 
The, and then the VR workout is going to be probably my three. But just all these games are just going to be incredible. Now, the only one I believe is Fit XR and Supernatural are kind of doing different things now. They have different updates. Sometimes they have subscriptions. Sometimes they have pay-to-play stuff. So it just depends on what your preference is on that. But other than that, everything is great. And like what I said earlier, I'm doing some stuff with Fit XR. So if you do want to uh, know some updates on it, we'll be trying it out personally. We've been doing a campaign on that. We got asked by them solely. So please keep in, in touch with your boy. And we'll definitely let you know how that goes. But... All in all, VR, fitness, if you love that content, hit us up with a thumbs up. That really does mean the world to us. And I'll be excited to see y'all in our comment section because it does really help the YouTube algorithm. And I hope y'all have a good one. If y'all work out, let me know. If y'all like VR fitness rather than just going to a traditional gym, let me know, man. I appreciate y'all. And as always, I'll see y'all in VR. Peace.